All right, so in this video, I'm gonna give you a little demonstration on uh, doing some wiring. We're gonna go ahead and wire a switch. We're using 14 two non-metallic cable. We're using a pair of wire strippers. The wire strippers have an end to twist. We've got two notches where you go ahead and cut the sheathing. We've got two ends where you can go ahead and do the stripping of the wire, and then two holes where you can go ahead and curl the wire. So what we're gonna do is use the end where you can go ahead and cut, and we're gonna cut our cable flush. We're gonna put a new end on this cable, something that you wanna do whenever you get started. All right, so go ahead and cut that off nice and square. So once we have the ends cut nice and square, we've gotta strip some wire away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the notch here that says 14-2, and we're gonna go ahead and strip away some of this sheathing. Crimp it, give it a little twist back and forth, take off the cable, and then you have your wires exposed. You can see we have a black wire and a white wire, and I'm struggling here with this paper. There we go. We have that little paper that we wanna go ahead and cut away. All right, next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna strip the white and black off of the wire. So give it a little twist and pull it off. Give it a little cut, pull it off. And now we gotta go ahead and twist these wires. We're gonna twist these wires so that we can wrap them around the outlet. And you can see that we wrap them around that way, wrap them clockwise, clockwise. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna twist the wire like that, putting a nice curl on it. If it's not enough of a curl, you can give a little press with your pliers, give it a curl, give it a little press, right? So it looks like that. You could use the ends of your wire strippers, but I like using the little hole because it does a nicer job. There you go, give that a try, practice that. Our next step is to go ahead and wire our switch. So we gotta go ahead and get two black wires connecting to these two screws. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap the wire around clockwise around the screw. So when we tighten the screw, it's gonna hold that wire in place. So I'm gonna start with my first wire. I'm gonna strip some of that sheathing away. Once I have the sheathing away, I have to go ahead and put that curl around the black wire. I'm gonna go ahead and strip about an inch away of that insulation. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a curl onto that wire like so. When I go ahead and put that curl onto the light switch, I wanna make sure that I don't have any copper being exposed below the bottom of the switch. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down. And you can see that the wire sits in there nice and snug. That's what we're looking for like that. That's perfect, all right? Now, with the white wire and the ground wire, we have to connect those to our second wire coming out of the junction box. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna strip some of that sheathing away. And all we have to do with these two is connect the two whites together. The black wire is gonna go to my under end of my switch and the two ground wires got to connect to this ground screw. And to do that, we're going to use a pigtail. So let's start by attaching the black wire first. We're going to go ahead and take the black wire. We're going to strip about an inch of insulation away. We're going to go ahead and put a little curl on that. Like so. We're gonna wrap that around my switch. Remember, we are going clockwise, all right, around the screw, tighten that up. And as you tighten that screw, it makes a nice connection. Okay, my two white wires are gonna get connected. Those are pretty easy, because I just have to strip about an inch of insulation away. And I'm gonna join those together using a wire nut. Wire nuts come in different sizes, so make sure you use the right size wire nut. So you're gonna go ahead and make sure the two wires go ahead and touch right there, touch at the top, pop in your wire nut, and give it a spin. And you wanna spin it until you see the wire braid together, like 
hair braid, right? You also want to make sure that there's no copper exposed at the end of that wire nut. Last step is we got to go ahead and get these two copper wires to connect to this ground screw. So to do that, I need what's called a pigtail. What is a pigtail? Well, you take a extra piece of wire that's a little too short and you go ahead and grab some wire from it. And we're gonna need this when we go ahead and do our outlet. But today, because we're doing a switch, we just need one piece of bare copper wire to make a pigtail for our ground. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to twist that wire like so. And we are going to attach that same way as we did for the other ones, clockwise. And I'm gonna go ahead and pinch that wire. So it makes a nice snug fit. I'm gonna tighten that down with my screwdriver. Like so. All right, now I'm gonna take these three wires and I'm gonna connect them using a wire nut. Three wire ends meet up. Go ahead and crimp that down until those wires start making a braid. And now I'm good to go. So I have my one pigtail going to my ground screw. I have my two white neutral wires wire nutted together. And then I have my hot wires going to the top and bottom screw. When you go ahead and put this switch into the junction box, make sure it says off and on make sure it doesn't say no make sure it says off and on so there you go give it a try